Take one step backwards! For Mother Russia, comrades! Do not turn your back on her! Victory or death! <laughs> Thank you.
Soviet Union. There is no need for this senseless bloodshed between our nations. The German people are not your enemy. If you surrender, you will be treated well. You will be given plenty of good hot food and warm clothing. <laughs>
ditch and keep your head down. They've got snipers out there. Private Kovayenko, as the fastest man here, you will be debate. Me? Oh, no, thank you, comrade. That is an order! Alexei will cover you with the sniper rifle from here. Now go, before I shoot you myself!
cover! Comrade Alexei, we've got those anti-tank rifles on the second and third floor. You take out the tanks. We'll stop the troops. Here they come! Ready on the anti-tank rifles! Anti-tank rifles ready! Machine guns! Machine guns ready! Get ready, comrade! Hold the anti -tank.
this door open? I hear that our general is facing to Berlin. Da, for the women to defend their name. The general who gets to Berlin last will be sent for re-education. We'll be re-educated with them if the NKPD hits us.
still alive? Well, good. That's good. Good for you. We must get out of here quickly before the artillery stops.
Since June of 1944, the Allies have made enormous advances through Europe, sweeping through much of France, Belgium, and Holland, almost to the banks of the Rhine. Much of their success must be credited to the Russians, who at Stalingrad, during the winter of 1943, destroyed many of the Germans' best panzer divisions. On the Eastern Front, the Russians have continued to push the Germans back through Russia and much of Poland, and will soon be on the banks of the Oder River and the border of Germany. The situation for the Germans has grown desperate. Allied bombers have reduced many major German cities to rubble. The German Air Force, the Luftwaffe, is a mere shadow of the power it once was, and can do little to stop the bombers, much less fight the Allied armies. The Kriegsmarine, the German Navy, is mostly sunk, its U-boats destroyed, and its sailors pressed into the army. However, the enemy refuses to surrender. Unable to stop the Allied advance, Hitler has turned to vengeance weapons, the V-1 and now the V-2 rockets. These rockets, although some of the most advanced weapons of the war, are too inaccurate to hit military targets. Instead, they are being used to terrorize London. Gentlemen, we fought a whole bunch of these, so I know you know what to do, but indulge me. Move quickly, cover your buddies, don't bunch up. And for heaven's sake, don't stop till we reach those bunkers. Stop there! Watch out for those mines!
Martin, clear this bunker and search for Dr. <laughs> yourself proud. Hardly believe. You've done it. All right, Evans. We'll head east, destroying any targets of opportunity. And then we'll meet up with the rest of the squad as planned. You take point, I'll provide support with the Brent gun.
to show Evans bloody decent work. You may have just made a career. Boys, smashing good use of mines. No time to chat. We'll be moving north to find those V2s now. All right then, move it. Move along! Explosives to destroy these V2s completely. We'll need to get them fully fueled first. To get those V2s fueled.
Now place your bombs on me.
mother. A few days ago, we waved the flag of the motherland over the top of the Reichstag in Berlin. The war, at last, seems to be coming to an end. There is very little fighting left in the enemy. Soon I will be returning to our home. There are German prisoners of war everywhere. Today, I crossed the Elbe River in Germany and shook hands with an American soldier. Although I could not understand anything he said, I felt this man was my brother. And I think he felt the same.